I took a stroll on the old long walk of the day. I met a little girl and we stopped to talk. Find something. And I ask your friend, what's the to All right, smallmouth fishing 101. For some reason, smallmouth, they love tube jigs. They love cover and sandy bottoms and some and a lot of times they're on rocks too but stuff like this is awesome and we've been seeing fish just in the really shallows so if you're on a boat you go out and you hit it if you're on foot wait out a little bit and catch them there's one sitting right here we'll see if we can possibly catch it i just realized it was there There he is. Oh, <laughs> just like that in the middle of a, my little tutorial on small mouse. I mean, there's one sitting right there and cast right in front of him. There he goes. They're really aggressive to pre protect their nest. So I like something like this, this tube jig, because it gives a lot of action in the water by just barely touching it a little bit and you don't have to move you don't have to bring it in or reel in very much when you're using it so that you can keep it in front of the fish a little bit longer. But that's about all I've got for right now. So let's see if we can go catch more fish. There it is right there. Got me a pound smallmouth. Nice little spawning fish. Gonna let him go. Put him back in the water. Got another one. This one's a uh, sweet. I think a little darker. Straight up red eyes. About the same size though. Probably about a pound. It's peeing. Anyway, that's a sweet little fish. Came out of nowhere and hit that. Gonna let him go right here. There he goes. Oh. So right here, I'm just doing some blind casting. See if there's anything out there where I can't really see it. But for the most part, if you can see them and cast right in front of them, you are gonna be deadly. There he is right there. Oh man, that was a good one. Oh, that one is awesome. Oh, man, he swallowed that. Like crazy, you can't even see my jig. This one's a little bit heavier than the last couple. That is a good fish. Look at that. <laughs> that thing is awesome. Let's see if we can unhook him just easy right here. These jigs aren't too hard to get out. Oh yeah, he was barely even hooked. He pretty much was just holding on to that thing. There you go. Smallmouth 101. He's gonna fly right back to his nest. Or she is. There she goes. Man, they are crazy out here. Another good thing about this jig I forgot to mention is it's pretty weedless because of the way that it sits on your line. It's going through the water, bouncing off of everything like that with the hook up in the air. So that's pretty awesome for when you're in these tight situations with all the weeds. There is, oh man. Okay, we know there's one right there. Let's see what happens on the second cast. Try not to mess it up. Watched him come up and hit it. Got excited again. There he is. There he is. Oh, that's a good one. Oh man, that's a really good one. Wow, this one's crazy. Wow, this is the biggest one for sure. This one is mean. 
This is why I love catching these things. They are so aggressive. They fight like crazy. Can't even get my finger in there. There we go. Check out that pig. Nothing wrong with that fish right there. We're gonna hurry and get him back so he can swim over to his. Whoa! That was a good fish. This one ate it. I think this is the last fish of the day. Ooh, my swivel came unhooked too. But he absolutely hammered that. It's usually not too hard to unhook this bait though. Oh no, oh no, he swam away with it in his mouth. Straighten out my swivel. There it goes. <laughs> this is why you snap your swivels closed, kids. Well, got my bait. <laughs>